Hi, and welcome to our P6 video tutorial series. Today, we're going to be looking at how to add in activities, along with discussing the four most common activity types. The four most common activity types that we have is our start milestone, finish milestone, task dependent, and our level of effort. Let's get started. So in our activities grid, I have my project open, and then we have our WBS elements right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the right hand side and we're gonna press the plus sign to add a new activity. And notice that we have this activity wizard pop up. Um, so we're gonna go through the wizard for the first activity that we have, but then I'm going to show you two different ways to turn off this setting. So this first one that we have, we can leave the activity ID as A1000 if you had something specific, some sort of code structure that you wanted to add to that, then you could change it right here. This activity is going to be start project. And then we're going to click next. So this right here is just showing us where it is going to land in our WBS. And we were highlighted on major milestones that's exactly where we want to put this one. If we wanted to change it, we could just click on the ellipses right here and then select the WBS element that we wanted that activity to fall under. So we're just going to click next. So right here, this is our activity type part of the um, activity wizard. On this drop down, we can change the activity type. It's always going to default to task dependent, but our start project that we have is going to be a start milestone. And so our start milestone, and you also see it pop up right there in our Gantt chart. Um, our start project, our start milestone that we have is just a milestone that marks the beginning of an activity or a group of work that is going to be done. So we can click next. We're not gonna assign any predecessor or successor activities at the moment, so click next. And then on this one, we're not going to configure any more activity details, so no thanks, leave that checked, click next. And so this says, congratulations, you've added a new activity. So from here, what we can do is we can check this box where it says, do not show this wizard again, and then okay, and then click finish. So now whenever we go to add an activity, we're not going to have to walk through all of those steps every single time. The other way that you could do this is if you go to edit and then you go to user preferences, um, right here under or on the assistance tab, we can um, turn on the new activity wizard or turn it off if we wanted to. But we're just gonna leave it turned off. And so we see right here, we also have this column added in this activity type and we see that we have our start milestone. So we're going to add another activity. So we're gonna press the plus sign at the top right. And so this one is going to be finished project. And press enter. And so notice how it is task dependent. Remember that is the default activity type that we have. To change that, um, there's a couple different ways, but I'm gonna show you using the general tab that's down at the bottom in the activity details. So underneath general, we see that we have activity type right here. And if we click on the drop down, this is going to be a finish milestone. And so we see that we have finished project pop up in our Gantt chart. And so what you can do with these start milestones and finish milestones is you can tie the start milestone to the beginning of a set of activities and then the finish milestone can be tied to the end and that way you can track it based on the start and the finish milestones okay so something else that we are also going to add in is going to be a level of effort activity so i'm going to press the plus sign again to add this one in and so this level of effort activity, we're gonna name this one design summary, press, press enter. And so 
On our finished project, we changed the activity type down here in the um, activity details section. On this one, we're gonna go into this column, which I added this column in from the column um, icon up here at the top. We can click on that one. And then this one is a level of effort. And notice how it changed over in the Gantt chart. Now that we've added in our start milestone, finish milestone, and level of effort activities, let's add in some task dependent activities. So going to this civil and foundation design WBS element, I'm going to select that and then click the plus sign three times. So this first activity is going to be design foundation drawings. And press enter and then arrow down. This next one is approve foundation drawings. Enter and then arrow down and then release foundation drawings. So notice that these automatically default to task dependent and that's how we're gonna keep them. So now what we wanna look at doing is we have our start milestone and our finish milestone and we wanna tie these to the activities that we have here. Um, typically in an actual project, you would have these activities on a much larger scale. For this example and tutorial, we just have these three activities that we're looking at. So in order to do that, we're gonna start with our first one that we have here. And then down at the bottom, we wanna select the relationships tab. So we want this first activity to go along with our start project, that start milestone. So in our predecessors box, we click assign, and then we find start project. And notice whenever we select that, the green arrow becomes available. So we can click that. And so we have assigned that milestone to that first activity that we added in. And then our last activity, we want this one to be tied to our finish milestone. So we go here to the successors box, click assign and then finish project. So again, notice that we have that green plus sign or we can just double click to assign that as our successor. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and assign our level of effort to this group of activities. So our level of effort is going to work as a summary of the group of activities that it's assigned to. It works by assigning that level of effort to the very first activity in a set, and then also to the last activity in that set. It creates a summary of the time um, for the entirety of the activities to be completed. And it also will expand and contract along with the activities, depending on the durations. Um, let's say you change the duration, you add duration to one of the activities, then that means that our level of effort is going to expand with those activities. So to assign that, what we wanna do is again, go to that first one that we have in our predecessors box right here, we click assign, we click on design summary, and we wanna make sure on this level of effort, we are changing this one to a start to start. So after that, we go to that last activity that we have in the set, and then in our successors box, we click on assign, and again, we click design summary or double click to get it in there. And then on this one, we want this relationship to be a finish to finish. So we can see in the Gantt chart that we have logic being tied. We have our milestones tied to the activities, and then we have this level of effort. So now what we need to do is we need to link these activities together. So to do that, we're just gonna click on the first activity. We're gonna hold down shift and then click on the last one. Then we right click and select link activities. And so once we've done that, we see those relationship lines right there. We can click F9 on our keyboard or we can click on this little icon at the top of our screen. Once we click that, we can schedule the file. And so what we see here is we see our start 
milestone, the start project, which begins with the beginning of our first activity. We also see this finished project, our finished milestone, which ends with the, the ending of our last activity. And then this level of effort, we see this summary going across where it's summarizing the activities that are contained within that level of effort. So thank you for watching this tutorial over adding activities and the four most common activity types. Stay tuned for more videos and tutorials in P6.